Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about number field sizes for beginners in Microsoft Access. Now, I get asked this one all the time, at least once a week. One of my beginner students says this to me. In fact, I got an email from a new beginner student this morning. Says to me, he's trying to set up a database to track jobs. They do painting. And for each job, he needs to track the number of gallons of paint they used to the half gallon. He says he set up the table, and every time he types in a number with a decimal component, like 2.5, Access rounds the number off. Why is it doing that? Do you know? Can you figure it out? Just at the table level, no fancy coding or, or formatting or any of that stuff in there. Do you know what it is? Well, we talk about this in Access Beginner 1. Go into the design view for your table, click on the field, and then in this case, gallons used, check the field size property down below. Now the default field size is long integer. Okay, when you create a new number field, it's set to long integer. Now a long integer means you can only have whole numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, and they're negatives, right? Negative one, negative two. If you want to store a fractional component, a number with a value after the decimal point, then I suggest selecting double. So drop down that box and pick double. Now there's a whole bunch of different types of field sizes in here. For beginners, the only two field sizes that you really need to worry about are long integer for the counting numbers and their negatives and double for fractional values. A lot of people pick decimal. Decimal is a little more advanced. It's got some quirks to it. And I talk about these in my full courses. Don't use decimal. Okay. And you'll probably never use replication ID. Single isn't necessary. Byte and integer. Again, they're, they're for pretty advanced purposes if you're trying to save space in your database. But again, for, for the vast majority of databases, just stick with long integer and double. Those are the only two you have to worry about. So here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to. You'll find a link down below in the link section. But in here, let's say I've got a customer form, okay? Um, I got this family size in here. Now let's say you're doing some kind of family size aggregate over all the families in the neighborhood, okay? And so you wanna, you, wanna, you know, you've calculated what the family size is and you wanna store that in here like 2.8, for example, okay? And when I hit tab, oh, it goes to three. Okay, there's another interesting uh, video you should watch called Bankers Rounding because some numbers, if you type in 2.5, they round to two. But if you type in 3.5, it rounds up to four. Why does it do that? It's something called Bankers Rounding. Okay, uh, I got a whole separate video on it. I'll put a link down below in the link section. Go watch that too. That's pretty interesting. But for this particular problem, we're going to go into the customer table design view. All right, find your field size. Where is family size right there? Field size down here is long integer. We're gonna drop this down. We're gonna pick double and that's it. Save it, close it, open it up. And now I can come in here and type in 2.8 and it saves the fractional value. That's it. Now, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, I cover field properties, field sizes, format property, all this different stuff in my Access Beginner Level 3 class. Talk about the difference between bytes, integers, long integers, singles, doubles, decimals, all that different stuff. And of course, first, start with my free Access Level 1 class. Four hours long, it's on my website. You can watch it for free, it's on my YouTube channel. Four hours, go enjoy it, watch it, learn it. We talk about some of this stuff in that class. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just a dollar. I go into more, mostly with form design and stuff. And then level three, we dig down into field properties and go a lot more into table stuff in level three. And I think level three is on my website for like $5. It's not expensive. These aren't expensive lessons, folks. Okay. So I hope you learned something. Those are your number field sizes that you have to worry about if you're a beginner. If you're a more advanced user, well, in my more advanced classes, we talk about them in detail. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, 
one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my Code Vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any Tech Help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for Tech Help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.